How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. Chapter 2, we are uh, in an area where we are not allowed to be in, learning about some things that we should probably not learn about. We're really just having a grand old time, to be completely honest, by this, uh, by this creepy woman. She is pretty creepy, at least in this, uh, in this visual here. But yeah, she's basically telling us that demons and humans coexist. They, they, they have done the do, they've done the do, if you will, and, and now demons and humans have mixed blood, and there's demons amongst us, full-blooded demons or some shit, and at times they're kind of hungry. And, and I think that's it. I think, I think that's all we were told so far, but let us uh, continue on with all the creepy shit. I didn't see the dance all the way through, so I don't know what kind of performance Rika-chan was putting on after I'd left. When I told this to Takano-san, she kindly explained Rika-chan's dance to me. To summarize what she said, and after what I'd seen, Rika-chan would pierce the futons with that hoe- Oh yeah, we learned- we also learned what the- the whole futon deal was. Yeah. Cut them open, and pull out the cotton inside. She'd cut the cotton out, one bit at a time, and set it afloat. And that's the kind of ritual it was. <laughs> I'm also very sad because I forgot my drink that I literally opened for this session. So that's great. それで儀式は惜しいない。その後はそれぞれの役割を持った村人たちがおのおのに肉を解体して美味しくいただいたって考えられてるわね。I also still have my fan on, I just realized that. I'm uh, I'm obviously going about this entire session just totally wrong. <laughs> so sorry if there was a teeny tiny bit of background noise. At Takano-san's strangely happy giggle, I felt for some reason violent displeasure. Rika-chan, every day during our lunch break, she'd take a rice-pounding mallet into the schoolyard, and she'd work so hard sweating bullets to practice for the offertory dance that she had done today. All that effort, all that work, Takano-san disgraced it, even though she worked so hard to practice for today. Oh, I'm also gullible, or at least I am. I don't know about Keiichi, but I know I'm gullible, I'm naive, and I'm stupid. I don't know about Keiji. A moment before I opened my mouth to express how angry I was, Shion stopped me. Shion must have been fully aware of how that story made me feel. No. Takano-san spoke without a hint of malice as she smiled gracefully. A little bit. Shion pointed out one of the walls vaguely illuminated by the lantern's by the lantern's light. Excuse me. There was, well, mere moments ago, they hadn't held my interest. They were just boring-looking tools lined up on the shelves. <laughs> oh, there's our music. I was wondering when that was coming back. All those uninteresting tools that I didn't understand how to use, they all suddenly looked or took on a new meaning, and I couldn't help but let out a groan. At first, they had looked like carpentry tools, like chisels or planes. However, when I thought back, I'd seen pictures of these sorts of tools before. Yeah, they... They came up in, uh, in a Japanese history textbook. Yeah, on the page introducing the, ka the Kaitai Shinsho, or the new text on anatomy. <laughs> These aren't carpentry tools. These strangely shaped tools, they're for dissection. Everyone knows that, that in the Edo period, they would dissect the corpses of those who had been put to death in order to gain knowledge about Western medicine techniques, or medical techniques. Illustrations on the dissection tools they used at the time came up in textbook supplements. The things hung up on this wall all looked exactly the same as those. 
調理道具といったところかしらね。Oh, no, I don't want to do that. <笑> Takano san holding the lantern, the only light source in the room, led us along the wall. She had the only light, so I had to walk after her whether I liked it or not. Takano san illuminated a coiled chain which left a bigger impression than the other things we saw. The chain in itself was nothing unusual, but further along it were metal fetters that were like hinges, clearly meant for binding people. Shion tapped me on the shoulder and pointed to a restraining table, and that was clearly shaped like a person. Okay, so now we're starting to see the things in the background here. My spine froze. My blood felt like it was turning into sherbet as it crawled up my back. On each of the joints, there were things like chains and iron balls attached. It was like the table was searching for its next sacrifice, ready to spread their arms wide and close them in. <laughs> The words chopping blocks sent a jolt through my body. And when I looked more closely, they were, or there were many dark slices carved into it, as through from a knife or a saw. They were the most clear cut signs of usage you could ask for. It proved these tools weren't just for show, they were used for their original purpose. If someone was trapped tightly onto this table, they probably wouldn't be able to move even a muscle. Their guts would be defenseless. You would take one of those eerie cooking knives lined up over there, stab them with it, and then you'd slice open their belly and dissect them? Before coming in here, Shion had mentioned she had a good guess of what was inside, but it seems to have exceeded her imagination. Well, I know it did mine. Or my expectations, if anything. Takano's son said this happy, uh, or had this happy expression like she was visiting a toy store for the first time. I don't get it. This Mio Takano person has nerves of steel. Are these, these bizarre, grotesque objects that fascinating to her? I, for one, was not enjoying myself. I'll be frank, this was all too weird for me. Still, there was something even more horrifying than all of this. That would be none other than Takano san herself. Takano san holding the lantern and giving off such a thin beam of light, if she suddenly turned it off, then I would. What would I do? The next moment everything went totally dark? And that's why I was scared. Takano san had the only light. And anyway, I was scared. At some point, Shion had started holding onto my shirt sleeve. It was a little annoying to walk like that, but I didn't shake her off. That minor sensation allowed me to feel the presence of an ally here and now. Before we had even walked halfway through the storehouse, the air I felt on my skin changed completely. These cruel tools lined up, all crammed together in this place. Some were horrible ones made to take away sacrifices' freedom, and some were tools made to efficiently disassemble and prepare the bodies for. excuse me, for consumption. And those were just the things I understood. There were plenty of other strange looking objects, and I couldn't even guess the purpose of. Now that I was here, I didn't have the slightest desire to hear the details about what sort of terrifying reasons they were meant to be used for. At the very least, they were all completely different from the sort of clean, simple killing function of a katana. Tools to kill people were obviously constructed in such a way that they could kill people. If that was the goal, then the person you used them on would obviously end up dead. The kinds of tools here, however, were different. The tools here were... were for cutting people, for crushing them, for boiling them and cooking them, and for grinding them. They were tools of torture, yes. It's exactly as I said in the last episode. They weren't made to kill people. People dying was just an incidental result. Actually, they might not even kill them. If the sacrifices could die during such a horrifying ritual process, that would be nice, but... 
They don't, they don't even die in the end. They remain in a state of hellish pain. Perhaps they were only being allowed to live. Only now in this moment did I, full, did I fully realize just how terrifying and fearsome that difference was. Takano-san is if reading my mind displayed a shocking smile. Nope, my bad. She describes such horrors in a strangely medical way. Shion immediately answered the question I had. There's a saying that nothing can scare a doctor, and I guess it's true. But she's not a doctor. Wow. To think the memories of when I went to a day camp with my family would come rushing back now of all times so vividly. That is terrible. That's insane. You would grill someone the whole day and they'd still be conscious. It's said that ancient Rome, famous for their executions, thought of a plenty of ways to execute someone while having the victim stay alive as long as possible. Shion was behind me, clinging to me. Not just because she was scared, she was protecting her stomach. She kind of reminds me of that one person from ReZero. Uh, I, I guess technically from both seasons, but mo more notably from the beginning of the first season. Uh, I, I can't remember her name. Elsa or some shit. Uh, she, she had a, um, an addiction, if you will, to guts. She just, she just loved pulling out the old guts and maybe eating them. I don't know. I felt sick. Or a sick feeling in my stomach. It was like my organs were coiling up just from Takano-san's stare. もっと or, you know, a mix of both. She spoke with pleasure as if she had come here on a sightseeing trip. She did. Or she has. I heard she owned gulping multiple times near my ears. I wanted nothing more than to not hear anything at all, yeah, honestly. So why? Why only at times like these do I begin to hear things I shouldn't be able to? Are we gonna hear things too? I don't want to hear things, to be completely honest. Takano-san, having realized she'd scared Shion and I enough at this point, smiled soothingly. 
And then she turned on her heel, raised the lantern, and began to walk out again. If Takano-san left us here, we'd get even further away from the light. Shion and I, no matter how scared we were, were forced to follow Takano-san along on her field trip through the ritual storehouse. Yeah, unfortunately, but then again, we kind of brought ourselves to this point. She says, raising the lantern high in the center of the storehouse. The dim lighting didn't change, but for some reason, it felt like I was able to see all of these horrible tools at once. Shion stammered while grabbing the, grabbing the nape of my neck. What's above us? I couldn't tell because it was so dark, but there were a lot more tools hanging from the ceiling as well. They all looked like they were made of iron bars, but then I figured it out. Cages. For cages, they were very small. Cramp cages just for one, like a casket. If you got locked up in there... No, you, you wouldn't get locked up inside. It was another tool meant for restraining people, where the iron bars would squeeze you tightly. All the... So many big and large things of all shapes were hanging down. Takano-san's mention of execution by grilling crosses my mind. We weren't just surrounded on all sides by these terrifying instruments. Things crowding the ceiling were even hanging over our heads. Oh yeah, you know what? I didn't even realize that earlier. Shion desperately pointed to one of the many human-sized bird cages hanging from the ceiling, but I couldn't tell which one she meant. Being that dark, there wasn't any way you could tell if something was in there in the first place. Shio didn't seem convinced, but without a means to confirm for ourselves, we couldn't do much but wonder. Well, I mean, it's like a similar situation from Chapter 1. You get told a whole bunch of stuff, but can you really believe all of it? The thing is, what can really explain this area? Sure, there might have been some weird things going on in the past, but to say that these weird things are occurring now, I don't know. Like, it could have been, like, so, 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 so long ago, to the point where it doesn't really even matter. But then I guess you gotta ask is, why is this stuff still here then? It's got nothing to do with believing in them. Now that I've been shown the real thing like this, there's no possible way to deny it. Eh, I don't know. Even the nations of Europe, with all their beautiful landscapes and legends, were like a maelstrom during the terrible witch hunts in the Dark Ages. It's well known that the era gave birth to countless gruesome forms of torture and execution. Japan was the same way. Didn't it have its own, didn't it have its own era of hellscape-like torturous feasts because of religious suppression and things like of that nature? Hinamizawa itself had such a period. It had that much history behind it. Even in Europe, land of the witch hunts, that was all far in the past. No more than a series of historical events, and in this age, nothing that abnormal would ever happen. That must apply to Hinamizawa as well. And that's what I want to say as well. I want to be optimistic about it, you know? I actually do, to be honest. It didn't sound like she was making fun of me. Takano-san gave me a light smile. Shion suggested something that made my heart leap into my throat. 
Are you telling me that all these horrible things are still going on even today? Oh, is that foreshadowing? Shion flashed a devilish smile, as if reveling in the immortality of it. Takano-san said, bringing her face right up, right up close to ours, as if to say that if she had the choice, she'd rather suffer the curse. And that was what she seemed to be implying. Takano-san took a fairly worn notebook out of her paper bag and then began to flip through its pages. There were all sorts of references and newspaper clippings attached to them, and it had all manner of things written inside. The letters were very small and bunched together, so I couldn't tell at a glance what it was about. <laughs> A photocopy of a page from some book was slid into the notebook, and it too was written in small, tight lettering. Like the other pages, I couldn't tell what it was about just by glancing at it. An old newspaper clipping attached to the page spoke of something that was no mere rumor or fairy tale. Never before has there been a corpse treated with such cruelty and humanity, or inhumanity. Could it be the work of a demon? Being a copy of a copy, it was very hard to make out, but it was more than enough to make me feel strangely tense. Near the end of the Meiji era, in old Onigafuchi village, a mangled corpse was discovered. The identity of the corpse was unknown. It wasn't even in a state where it could be identified in the first place. It was missing a head and each limb was separated from the body. Ah, uh, that should sound a little familiar. Skin had been peeled off the entire body and there were markings that implied terrible torture in every place imaginable. Not only that, but the belly had been cut open by a sharp knife, with the entrails completely dragged out. The police immediately began an investigation, but since they couldn't even determine the identity of the victim, much less the criminal, finding answers was extremely difficult. Terrible? I couldn't imagine such a strange sight, even if I tried. This was the first time I was ever thankful for my lack of imagination. あらゆる拷問を受けていじめ殺されたんですって。そして死後にもさらに遺体を分解、解剖と残虐の限りを尽くしたのではないかって筆者は見ているわね。私はどの皇帝も生きているうちにやったんじゃないかって思ってるんだ
鬼ヶ淵村の恐ろしい習慣は明治以降の近代ひょっとすると昭和初期くらいまでは残ってたんじゃないかって結んでるわ This corpse, at a glance, appeared to have been brutally killed after a period of torture. In actuality, however, it was the pitiful sacrificial remains of the man eater's terrifying feast. The corpse was just leftovers. It was so fantastic, so strange, that it didn't feel real. Was this an extension of the legends, too? It had happened in the Meiji era, though, which is just too recent to be called a legend. Also, there's a newspaper clipping right here suggesting it. But, but, if it was really true, it's the past. If it was a mage, it would be a thousand years ago. Just a thousand years ago. And, right? It was a thousand years ago. 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 No, no, please explain that one. この話はタブーだったわよね。No, was it? Takano san immediately stopped talking as if worried about Shion. Shion briefly looked somewhat angry, but that expression soon disappeared. What? 今、Takano san, なんて言いました缶詰疑惑って。Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little confused on that one too. Just then there was a huge creaking noise. Everyone whipped around to look. Is it? Oh, yep, Tomatake. It was Tomatake san who had opened the door slightly. Ha 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 ha. Odoro ka se jatta ka na? Little bit. Ara, Jiro san mo mitakte gaman dekina kuna ta ka shira? Boku wa endo sa se te mora u held her stomach and had to muffle her laughter. As if she wanted to make a comment about his masculinity. Seriously, the end of the ceremony was over, and the end of the ceremony was over. After a few minutes, the ceremony was over. I can't wait. 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 私はちょっと写真を撮るわね。本当はいくつか道具を持って帰りたいんだけど、それはさすがに無理そうだからね。タカノさん took a camera out of her paper bag and began to snap photographs. She looked like she was having fun, like she was on a scavenger hunt. んケイチ君も出るかいもう十分に見ましたので。しよう、もういいだろう。出ようぜ。綺麗な空気が吸いたいよ。同感です。出ましょう。I did feel a bit of hesitation at leaving Takano san by herself in, in this darkness. And when I thought about it, though, I realized that whatever kinds of evil spirits and ghosts lurked in the darkness, none of them could hold a candle to how scary she was. Even if a phantasm were to appear, she'd be overjoyed and flash her camera at it. It seemed like Shion shared my somewhat rude mental images. We exchanged glances and smiled painfully. We left Takano san there, bathed in her strobe of camera flashes, and decided to go leave the ritual storehouse. Thank fuck. I'm totally down with that. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here since it's, uh. It seems like an okay stopping place, you know? Alrighty. Thank you all for,、uh, watching this episode. We, uh. We learned a lot, I think. We gained a lot of potential knowledge, if you will. I don't really know what to make of it, but definitely gets you thinking. It really does. Thank you all for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like.、Uh, excuse me.、Uh, subscribe. <laughs> all that fancy stuff, and I will,、uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.